Uh, chest, or two chests real quick. Grab this. Fruit flan, that does not look good at all. And... Let's bring them Same as the pixie do. That's fine. The only thing left was a uh, purple chest. Can't do anything with that anyways. Alright. Let's see who we need to talk to in here. Yeah, yeah. Aye, 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 that guard. What is he thinking? Why is he let in more outsiders? First there was that giant man, and now children? Um, excuse me, man. We were looking for the Queen Kulan. The guard said she was somewhere around here. Hmm. So you've come to receive her blessing? Here we go, flipping again. What's all this sacred ceremonies and blooming blessings? Okay. You come to Perdita, yet you know nothing of blessings? Look deep into the eyes of the people here. See how we are blessed? Gotta work out do some stuff. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, Jaeger. Uh, yeah. Oh, you've seen them all, right? These people aren't blessed. They are. They're broken-hearted. Seems like some blessings aren't worth into counting. Okay. What did you? What the man say? Yeah, yeah. Our hearts. They are broken. Pay no attention, Carino. Carino. The blessings we have received have lifted the fear from our hearts. Do you know how many towns in this land have been wiped from the map by the Dark Shin? But you can't just give in. We have to stand up to Shadar. I'm taking Lee Klee, you Nino. Ah, uh, you are a wizard, are you not? How can you know what it is to have no magic, no power, nothing but fear in your heart? But, ma'am, you can't let your heart be broken just because it stops you feeling afraid. He's right. What's the point of a blessing like that? You may as well have your heart broken by Shadar. Hmm. Nina, can you know? It's nearly time for the ceremony to begin. It's finally time for you to join us. It is time for you to be blessed. Uh, I'm ready, Yaya. Then let us go. We must not keep Queen Kulan waiting. I'm not so sure Queen Kulan's doing going to be much help, you know. Now she's the one handing out these so-called blessings. But if we don't do something, that little girl will end up like everybody else. We have to go after them. We're about not to be welcome here, I think. One of us. One of us. One Very of us. Nina. It will be over soon. There's a good girl, Carino. Yeah, yeah. May we begin the ceremony? Everything is in order, Queen Kulan. It's her. The Queen of the Heavens. We found Kulan. I've got a bad feeling about this. Get a load of her eyes, will you? They're all weird. Jeepers, she's broken hearted. She must have done this when he attacked Xanadu. So now we know why she's been up to no good handing out these so called blessings. But if we don't do something, Nina will end up broken hearted too. No, let me go. What does it matter, my child? I don't want to be blessed. I don't need it. I don't want to be broken hearted. Everyone was wrong. Nina, how dare you say things in the presence of Queen Kulan? The child refuses my blessing. Then she leaves me a choice. For the benefit of this misguided girl, a special ceremony is required. What do you mean to do to her? What's happening? Uh oh. Void of love. Kulan's nightmare. It's a flipping nightmare! What's he gonna do with the food dump? Nina's in danger. We've gotta save her. Come on, everybody. Fight. Come on, everybody. Uh. Gotta go. Thank you for the stream. Alright. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. Morning breath. All right. Probably should be able to do the same thing, just bat away at him. Uh. Cool rain. Well, that took a while to cast. Uh, I don't know if Gogo -Go defended it. I know we did. Oh, nice. Ow. What poison? No, I probably just stepped in something stupid. Come on, Esther, you probably need to back up and heal. Uh, 
are... Did you just get yourself killed? Nice. Oh, great, we're blinded. No, I didn't even do that. Let's just go to spells. Oh, I couldn't do... We were already defending, so I couldn't do it again. Yeah, I didn't think she guarded it. Um, oh my god, is there so much uh stuff on the ground? I didn't mean to do Cloud Burst. I'm going to do uh, the Light Arrow. It's kind of hoping it would uh, wash away all the stuff on the ground, though. Oop, get away. Stop that. Oh, cool rain. Oh, boy. Yeah, Esther, you're not doing a very good job of... Uh, Hang on a second, let's uh, draw poison away from you. Ow. Yes, 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 you heard. Draw poison from Swain. You still... Yeah, you're not quite as easy as the other bosses because of all the stuff you put on the ground. Um, hopefully she got something to defend out. Oh, it's her herself. Sweet. Arrow of Lights. Um. Oh. Of course, Swain's poisoned again. Do I have anything? Uh, sure. So, once he teleports, that's when we know he's about to do something else. There he goes, sure enough. I don't think uh, her ping was defending. Yeah, nope. Pretty sure Esther's just been burning through her MP. Mm. Jeez, guy, come on. got yourself healed up. That's good. Come on. Oh, come on, Dino. Nice. Ooh, again. Come on, Esther. Oh, you're gonna hit Dino. You're not hitting me. <sighs> Esther's like taking every single hit. So yeah, those black orbs do more damage to me than what his attacks do. Oh. 
Come on, Esther, when I say defend, I need you to start defending. Let me get to that. Uh, hopefully this will cancel this attack. He was starting, he was getting ready to cast something. No, don't heal. Esther. I think that killed Esther. Yeah, it did. Oh, no, that's all I wanted. Well, that works right now, but... Uh, oh, I have plenty of stuff. Okay, sweet. Oh, it's gonna hurt. As long as she doesn't get hit by it. Are you kidding me? I better get that Phoenix Feather back then. Because it didn't hit her, she just hadn't revived yet. Are you telling me you interrupted me mid-cast of the Phoenix Feather? An item? Oh my god, if that's the case, I will be so upset. Come on, teleport away so we can... Mm. There we go. Now I can defend. And then once this is over, then we can... uh. I can try and get Esther back up. Okay, it didn't use it. Thank you. I would have been really upset at that point. Alright. And you didn't dodge that one, did you? Of course you didn't. Why would you? That'd be just silly. Get out of here. Give us a lot of time. Oh, nope, never mind. I'm glad. I don't understand why she pulls out Go Go whenever I do the all out defense. It's like, you, you're literally, literally just getting hit. No, 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 I actually did not want to do that. She, <laughs> yeah, she pulls out, she pulls out Gogo, -Go, who just stands there. He's like, oh, I'm gonna take this hit. I know for a fact he has an evasive property. Oh, whatever, whatever. Error four or four. Swing. Twinkle, twinkle. Huh? What's twinkle, twinkle do? Uh, Sacred Radiance Luminous Battlefield doing light based damage to all enemies. Um, let's get rid of. I oh, probably should give you that a while back, too. Um, C Sense. Carino, are you all right? Your Highness, get away from me! You disappoint <gasps> me, <gasps> Queen of the Heavens. Lord Shaddaa! Shaddaa! Where is he? Hear me, Queen of the Heavens. Huh? The power of your huh? nightmare is <gasps> as good as spent. Huh? Though you are a sage, it would seem you are all too human. Perhaps I was wrong to choose you as my representative. 
No, Shadal, I beg you, give me one more. It is too late. Shorn of the power of your nightmare, what use have I for one such as you? <gasps> Queen Coolan! Huh? Huh? Kubla! Kubla! Ha! Sorry to keep you waiting. Kubla! <laughs> I see. The dregs of Xanadu arrive. How amusing. I look forward to seeing how much of a fight you put up this time. Mm. Do you think Queen Kulan is back to her old self again? Goodbye, how dare you! That a baseborn ruffian like you should presume to meddle in the affairs of a queen. You are my apologies, your highness. I never did know my place, did I? And the same goes for the rest of you. What business can you unruly kind have with one such as I? Charming, isn't she? Looks like the Queen of Heaven is still very much brokenhearted. This looks like a job for you, lad. Can you do for the one for the queen what you did for Tingri? Sure I can. I, I can mend her broken heart. There's no doubt about it. What her highness, high and mightiness is missing is a good spot of love. That's what makes the world go round, ain't it? So it's love she needs, is it? Who do we know that's bur brimming with love? If it's love you're after, I'm your man. You, you what? You heard me. No man has more love for a woman than I ever have for Kulan. You, you love Queen Kulan? Never. Ha ha ha, he loves her, he loves her. Ah, now we know, now we know. <clears throat> Nothing nauseating talk of love. The very word turns my stomach. Ah, thus speaks a fiery maiden I fell for. It's music to my ears. Cracky, it must be love if he's happy taking that kind of abuse on the chin. Yes, what's the story between Kublai and Queen Kulan? I need to know. Calm down, will you? Never mind that. Now all we need now is that Kublai has to share some of the love of his heart with Queen Kulan. Gar, Quite so. Have at it, lad. Take some heart. Uh, oh, do I have to actually talk to you? And love. Which means that last one's hope, isn't it? I think somebody did talk about hope. Thanks, Kevin. Why, gee, that sure is a lot of love. That should be more than enough. Now we just need to give old Kulan a lend, a lend of it. Counting on you, boy. Use your magic to give her my love and bring her back to me. Give heart. Oh, I gotta talk to you. Curse you, Kublai. I need no love from a base-born ruffian such as you. You know the drill, Ollie boy. Shovel that with love at her way and she'll be right as rain. Give heart. And give some love. How? My my heart. Kublai? Your Highness, so you're back with us. I spoke harshly to you just now. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Ah, I think nothing of it. It was a pleasure to hear such rough and ready words from the mouth of a newborn worn lady. Pray do not mock me, Kublai. I'm just glad Queen Kulan's not brokenhearted anymore. Too right, and I must say I'm impressed with old pirate face here. That's two servants of this heart we've helped ourselves to now. Yeah, you're right. It seems as if his love for your queen is a bit, little bit special. You call me queen? I'm other, unworthy of such a title. The Skyborn Kingdom of Xanadu was torn from the heaven to cast in a distant ocean. I could not protect my realm. And then I came to this town and broke the hearts of its people. Truly, I am no queen. But your highness, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Listen to me. The people of Xanadu saw you as a wise and just ruler. You carried out the duties both as queen and as sage and trained countless wizards. Have you forgotten all the good you've done? Goodbye. What you say may be true, but it has not excused the harm I've caused. I have inflicted so much suffering. Your highness, we met the ghost of a lady in Hamlin, a soldier who once served you. She was one of the people who died in Xanadu. She told us that as long as Queen Kulan was alive, there was hope for her people. She spoke of me. She spoke of hope. Look around you. The people of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they're alive. Your Highness, let us return to this town to its former self. It may take the time, but I know you can do it. You may not be queen any longer, but we still stand beside you. You're not alone. And who's to say you can't rebuild Xanadu? Look, Kublai, thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are right. Can I give in to despair? It must be someone whom... Who I can... I must become someone who can inspire hope in others. That is my duty. You weren't only the great sage who was led astray. My father and Markerson suffered too. Yes, and Oliver helped them just like he helped you. And now we're all fighting fit. The battle against the evil can finally begin in earnest. Wait a minute. There's something I'm dying to ask. I need to know how long has something been going on between Queen Quilon and Kublai. I mean, a queen and a sky pirate. It's so romantic. Ah, do you have to be so nosy? Kublai. Kublai is known as feared and feared as the king of the sky pirates. But there is more to him than meets the eye. Oh, you're quite right. I'm a man of many talents, and being fearless leader of a band of swashbuckling sky pirates is just one of them. Kublai has also served as commander of the Xanduvian Airborne Division, in which he, the role he fought for Queen Kulan. I've asked. I can speak for myself, you slack-jawed cur. 
You were commander in Xanadu? Indeed he was. Since the time of the Wizard War, Xanadu has avoided conflict. But neutrality cannot be maintained without significant military power. Goblai's forces form part of that power. Oh, I get it. The Lily Servant ended up falling head over heels in love with the Queen. That's classic. Swain, do you always have to be so blunt? Ah, but it's true. I've watched over her since she was but a girl. I can't say I don't feel for her. But I'm a mere soldier, and there not be to be done about that. Gee, that must be tough. But that was then. Things have changed. Change? Change how, exactly? I don't hear my words earlier. I'm no queen no longer. There are no ranks or barriers to keep us apart. Can it be? Do you truly mean? I've been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. I, uh, I... Come on, Kablai, don't be so slow. Come the heck, man. Put us out of your misery, won't you? How many times are we going to make it a poor woman say it? Still leave your chattering tongues or I'll cut them off. Stand before the king of the sky pirates. All right, all right. Aww. <laughs> Locked a story that was a companion. How the little girl became queen. The hearts of the people of Perdita have been restored. Young Nina, you must have been terribly afraid. I apologize most humbly for my actions. Do not worry, Queen Kulan. I am happy that you have become such kind and gentle. Everything for Dita is so bright and happy now, we will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears, truly, child. Children like you are the bearers of our hope, hope the hope of a brighter future. We who are old enough to know better chase, chose the path of cowardice. All we wanted was to be free of fear and to be protected from the truth. Well, what's done is done, and all that. It's just hope that Rudder Shadar is not still hanging about, waiting to pounce like... I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdita from Shadar. I vow never to let this dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I have done. Gracias, your highness. Then it seems I have no choice, but I'll throw my lot in with you, your highness. We'll protect this puny village together. No, goodbye. There are other duties to which you must attend. It is not only this town that must be protected, but the dark pall of Shadar's despair. With your airship, you may travel freely around our world. Do you understand what it is that I ask of you? Oh, I do at that only too well. No, but you only just got together. Kublai, though we may not be apart, we will always be together as long as we share the same goal. Gar, you're not wrong, your highness. You always did have a way with words. Looks like everything's worked out then. Oh, but uh, before I forget, there was a reason we came here to the middle of nowhere. I'm aware of this. It concerns Morstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Marcuson couldn't reunite them with the wand. It was beyond Markson's power, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Well, he speculated that it might become because we brought Morstar here from the past. Hmm, a mass wizard who can manipulate time itself. I'm most curious as to what his intentions could be. I should ponder that at my leisure. Our priority is to put the stop to Zardar's plan. I'll perform the ri required ritual without delay. Tidy, sounds like Ukulan knows uh, knows what needs doing to get Morstar back into the peace, eh? That's it. There's handy. Now, young Oliver, I shall require some assistance in the undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, Queen Kalon. Just let me know what I have to do. By response, the ritual must be performed outside. When you are ready, come to see me. I shall be waiting. Oh, my face hurts from talking so much. Ugh. All right, I'm going to take a quick little break. Uh, get some more water and everything. I'll be right back in just a second. Oh, so much talking.
Sorry about that. And we're back. Looks like we have plenty of uh, quests to pick up, too. Come from another land. This is our home. Pretty is small, but we have big hearts. Hermana, I'm so hungry. I'm sorry, Hermanito. I'll prepare dinner now. What do you want to eat? Oh, thank you. Hermana. Can you make stew again, please, Hermana? Is he your little brother, miss? You seem to get along really well. We get along very well, it's true, but he's not my real brother. Really seem to exo kind of sure you must be family. As you see, our town is very small. We are like we are all like family here. Everyone in this town cares for each other. We look after the young and young and the old as if they were our own family. Gee, a town where everybody treats other each other like family sure sounds nice. Yes, we are truly blessed. I love my home with all my heart. Well, this girl shows a lot of love, huh, Miss Trippy? Excuse me, miss, we were wondering if we could ask you for a favor. Favor? Please tell me more. Well, and we were wondering if you'd be kind enough to share some of the love in your heart. Haha, <laughs> truly. People from far away are very different from us. Tell me what I must do. Just hold still. And we got some love. Is it over now? I am not sure what you did, but my heart feels light. Come on, I'm so hungry. I'll prepare dinner now, Hermanito. Oh, oh god. Ooh, food. You brought food to us. Look, have you ever seen a sight more beautiful than that evening sun from the mountain of ours? Jeez, you're right. Sure is pretty, ma'am. Flipping heck. Get a load of that. You don't see that view like that every day. Yes, you're going to this beauty is all of ours to enjoy. On this mountain, we see the sun sink into the sea each evening and bid farewell to the day. Watch each of the colors drain from the world as the night sky dawns the starry robes. Beauty takes my breath away every time. Wow, I bet that's really something. Sure, we'd love to see it. Oh, but you must. You must. No one in this world is a sunset that can match that of Perdita. That I am sure. We've got a lot of confidence. Oh, is she green? I also have something, uh... Oh, pardon me, ma'am. I was wondering if you could uh, maybe help us out. Well, I'm sure if I was able to. What is it you want? Part of my confidence? Surely. Oh, it's always a flashing. I actually thought it was a quest that got on top of me, not a, uh... Heart. You have attained some confidence. I ate my heart. Look, the sun begins its descent. Please do not miss the beauty about to unfold. Um, it's... Oh my god, it's y'all again. Listen, you don't think it's time to go? We'll get no business done in, in an out-of-the-way place like this. This is like you, darling. We've always managed to make a decent living no matter where we've gone. I see you both again. Is everything okay? Ah, it's you. Well, the thing is, my darling wife has suddenly decided that we don't stand a chance of selling anything here. I, I don't know. I just don't think I can carry on like this. Going from one place to the next, only ever scraping by? I mean, even if we did get our dream shop off the ground, how long would we last? A year? A month? What if this customer stopped coming? You know, this looks a lot like... Ah, her confidence is short supply. We're going to do something about that or what? Uh, we, can, we will, and we can. Give her confidence. Mm, conveniently enough, we just got some. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, I feel all warm and tingling inside. All my worries seem to have just melted away. Oh, my darling husband, we got places and, most importantly, things to sell. We'll be able to open our dream shop in no time. Good luck with everything. I almost forgot. Here's something for your trouble. Thank you for always being there. Got a tonic and a thousand guilders. Alright, that gives us five stamps. I really want to get eight stamps, though. Because I want to get. I want to see if I can unlock his powers. Or if I have to wait. Aye, aye, aye. My poor back it aches. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Ah, do not worry about me. It's just that I'm old. More aches and pains each passing day. I, I ache so. Would you kind of be kind enough to help me, young man? You see, I cannot apply this. Some oh, something matter, sir? You have no more special compre compresses that I use to ease my pain. Nothing else you can use? I'm afraid not. I bought a number of compresses from the peddlers some time ago, but like you, they did not last. They are a special kind of cold compress, handmade by the Tomte who reside in Yule. Whenever I place one on my poor back, its icy embrace would swiftly soothe my pain. That one, I fear, will be no no relief. Can I have a fa I favor I ask you? Will you try to yule for me and collect a cold press from Tomte there? Sure. I am grateful, but remember that yule is far from here. Take care, you must not endanger yourself on my account. Thank you, sir. Sure, it'll be okay. Just, just wait here. I mean, we can literally teleport there and back. So, oh, there you are. Ah, oh, I cannot forget that dream. What's the matter? It was yesterday. I had a strange dream. What kind of dream was it? It was like no dream I've ever had. There was a girl who looked like just like me. She had my face, but she lived in another world. My dream the girl was planting flowers I've never seen before. Beautiful flowers. She sounds like a strange dream. It was, and it felt something too. Though I do not know how, the girl and I, we were joined. It's hard to explain. 
I reckon the girl she saw in her dream was from your world, Ollie boy. Or she's always most likely. What did you say? Does this boy really come from the same place as the girl in my dream, from another world? That's right, I come from another world, completely different from yours. It's true, it's incredible. Can I ask you something, in case you ever meet that girl I saw? Sure, I guess. What I want is a flower. I'd very much like to have one of those flowers that the girl in my dream grew. If you meet her, could you please ask her for such a flower? Sure. Thank you. The flowers I saw, they were pink, and in a pot. I've never seen flowers like them before. Sounds to me like it's time to dust off a certain spell and head back over to your world, other boy. It's better find the girl who looks just like her. First, there's more quests to grab. So you need cold compresses. What do you need up here? Ah, it's you. Ah, uh, oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again, of course. I predicted you would be here before long. Jeez, it's Derwin. Oh, it's you again. How come you're always waiting for us wherever we go? Because I wanted to assist you with my critically important research, of course. So I guess that means you want us to find some more creatures for you, huh? Applaud your perplexity. Now, will you assist science and cooperate with me? Sure. Wow. Seven stamps for this one. Uh, what kind of creatures are you going to send us running after this time, then? They have been conducting highly stimulating research in the process of metamorphosis, but there are some creatures whose advanced forms I have yet to observe. There are three species I would very much like to see you for, for you to bring me. First specimen of interest is a Wispula, the metamorphosis of a ghostly creature known as the Haunt, known to haunt the tombs of Trail. So I, know, I got a Wisp. I'd also like to see the first hand a Flash Fry. Alright, I know where that one's from. And Trumpy. Known as a um, Trumpy. I'm sure you know the species, yep. Uh, little is known about these creatures, even amongst the fam uh, familiar logical fraternity as such. You're on, my, you're on your own. So the combination of de dedication to animal cunning, it's statistically likely that you will find them, eventually. Oh, and it goes without saying that it will not suffice simply to sash these... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, where's the sash? So I can pull them out before I forget. Oh, no. There we go. Hello, hello. Uh, retreat familiars. So, Flash Fry is going to come from you. It's from Deep Fry. Uh, Trumpy, which actually we were working on him a little bit, will come from Shonky. And the Wisp, which should be the beginning levels. Where you at? Did I never get a Wisp? I guess we're going to get a Wisp. Wait a second. Yeah. They get a Wisp. Wispy. So, in particular, so I can't, can I upgrade any of these? So let's put you instead of you. And I think I'll rather keep, we'll do like that. Doesn't really matter who goes to who. None of these are ready to upgrade yet. Sharper Proper Wisp and Deep Fries. And a Llama. And let's go for Nature's Tongue. Hello, why don't you do something for me? I'm simply starving. Can you hear my tummy rumbling? Why oh, you have a tasty morsel for a hungry alpaca? Oh, so you want some food? Sorry, alpaca. Uh, what do you eat? My kind are fed hay, morning, noon, and night. I have a grown tired of its frankly one-dimensional taste and unavailing texture. Mere's hint of luxury, too much to ask. A little gourmet treat, perhaps. Gourmet treat? So I say, would it be so wrong for humble alpaca to simply delight in a juicy babana from Malmoon? How the heck have you heard of babanas? We'll never flipping know. There's a merchant who once came here amongst his wares for fresh babanas. Ever since I first eyes on them, they have captivated me. Somebody must try one. Might you be willing to provide me with one? Give me a babana. I'm sure I can find something similarly desirable to offer you in exchange. Sure. Okay, just wait here. Thank you. My tummy is rumbling with anticipation. So is that all the quests here? Yep. So let's uh travel over to Yule first, I think. We'll go get the cold compressed before, so don't forget about that. Sure, we'll have plenty of fighting to do. I also need to go to a Swift Solutions to get some more bounties. Alright, sure enough, people need stuff. Aw, oh, so sweet, fluffy fluffy. You are making me blush, yes. Fluffy fluffy fluffy, almost too fluffy fluffy fluffy. You were thinking so also, yes? <laughs> he is. He's real cute. He is, he is, he is. I love my fluffy fluffy fluffy. You're being so no other for me. Love, huh? Uh, would you let us have a little bit of your love? I can't right now. I'm full up on love. Nope. How about you, sir? Ah, you're being so bothersome. Must work. I have not the time for worry about you also. What's happening, Captain? Your husband, you're behaving so coldly. Something matter, ma'am? 
Beautiful bull child here is having a fever, so I'm thinking to go to the doctor. But my husband's saying there's no fever at all. Do not be bothering people. Yes, yes, wife. I'm doubting that this little boy will be caring much for your vexations. Go to home with you now. How's there ha having been the man who once cared for his family, so... Retire me. Sure, let's give him love. Uh, give heart. And then we just go right over to that little girl and grab more love. What what am I? Husband, are you having better are you being better? Yes, I'm not knowing what happened to me. Forgive me, wife. Wait, we must have taken our beautiful boy child towards the doctor with haste. Looks like he's cured, huh? Thank goodness for that. That he is. We couldn't let a family need pass us by, now could we? Thank you extremely. This will be only a trifle, but may it show you some of my thanks. Alright, let's grab some more love. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Yes, yes, yes. Take heart. Oh. And drink some water. Because my mouth is parched again, because I've been reading so much. But this is feeling very strange. For what will you use my love? Oh, we're going to use to help people. Who else? Okay, somebody up here. I feel like we talked to this person before. Oh, maybe some. No, it was the other guy. Okay. You were wishing to speak with me, boy. Yes, sir. I have something to ask you. Could we have one of your cold compresses? A cold compress? You are knowing very well about me, yes? Or upon your person is hurting, please. Uh, no, it's not for me. It's for someone in Perdita. His back is really hurting. Oh, I'm knowing him well. We are communicating through Peddler, yes? Yes, so will you let us have some compress? Yes, of course, yes. But it's taking a little time to be making them. What's the problem, sir? Which way right here? Perhaps you'll be listening to my request in return, yes? Sure, what is it? Mangler fishes have been causing much trouble around this region of Yule, yes? Can you please defeat five of them for me? Please, very much. Five, huh? Sure we can. They are they are fearing fire, yes. Defeat them with the blazing blade the peddler is selling will make them not come not to come back soon. Okay, so let's equip. Can we equip you with this? Oh, you already have equips. Sweet. So mangler fish we need to kill with fire. Should be pretty easy to do. Or pretty quick too. I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm uh, controlling Swain. Um, so it should be these guys, I assume. Right? Yeah, Anglerfish. No slacking, you lot. So let's switch over to Swain. Pull out this guy and attack the Anglerfish. Oh, of course you put me to sleep. Thank you. Come on, Twain. There we go. That's one down. Nice work. Got some levels. Oh, yeah, because they, they need it, actually. Yeah, unfortunately, it's only one because the other one was killed by a uh, dino. That's fine, though. Uh, come on. Stay calm now. Swain, Swain and you. You are not doing quite as much damage as I hope you'd be doing, though. Oh, stop that. If something else hits him first. <laughs> wow, Swain, you're taking a lot of damage. I'm used to Dino. Alright. Well, that's a plusy. Fortunately, they can be anywhere over here. I got fun doing this, trying to catch all those uh, the, the guys on the blue flowers, so... I got used to where all the spawns were. At least roughly. It'd be great if, uh... Dino could carry a, uh... 
sword, or at least a like a fire mallet of some sort. Instead of relying only on a fire sword. Then again, I could probably could switch over to somebody else. But this is fine. Swain, Dino, excuse me. Scully. There you go. That was nice. And you tore through him. I'm glad I gave him the uh, attack up item. It's really useful to have. Three down, two to go. Here, mangler fish, where are you at? Unfortunately, nothing spawns close to you. I don't know what the exact like spawn proximity has to be, but they'll spawn a little ways away, and you'll have to walk towards them. Or at least once they spawn, you can just like lift off and like land next to them, and they'll be there. They'll still be there. That's why where I landed, like those weren't spawning. Like the guy down there or anything. Ugh. Oh, there's one. Also gotta be careful because I'm pretty sure they'll run from me. Oh no, he's to chase me. Sweet. That actually makes that easier. Hi, all. Why don't you like dash in like you've been doing? There we go. One more to go. Was that one over there? No, I think it was a... Was something in that forest right there. No, it's a... Uh, guy on one of the flowers. Not a fan of these type of quests, where he's like, Hey, go kill five of these things. Like, that's... Fine, if I can more easily find them. You're asking me like like work their spawns so I can get the ones I need. Like that's not that fun. Like if they were guaranteed to spawn in one spot, that'd be different. Oh, there's one. That should, assuming we kill him with the sword, this will be the last one. Boop. Come on. Swing. Allow me. There we go. Sweet, we're good. Actually, I can even kill one more. There we go. I actually got two of them killed in that one. I've only done that the first time. We did it. All right, let's just head back to you. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of glad I already had the, uh, the horn guy working, and I'm not doing it completely from scratch. Oh, I should have got to. Oh, I should have flown to the other side of the town. 
That way I would have come in on the top, closer to this guy. We did it, sir. Oh, you are having defeated them, yes? And my cold compressor is being finished. Here to you, and please be greeting my friend of Perdita. Thank you. Nice. So that's done. Let's go to Amamu next to get the Babanas. I'm sure there are other quests to do here as well. Oh, we have to go back to Ding Dong Dell. Well, basically we have to go everywhere, so I guess it's... Probably should have gone to Ding, Del, Ding Dong Dell first just to have it in sequential order. But, because of course, there's a new quest here. Are you needing? What are you needing? Ah, what I've done with my life. Perhaps my farming days are at an end. My husband, what has become of you? You used to love your Babana so. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you ask to see what's be the problem? It's my husband. Suddenly he tells me that he wishes to retire from his beloved Babana growing. He does, but why? He says that the fruit had been in his life for so many years no longer interests him. I've given my life to the Babana, but no longer. These accursed fruits will dictate the pattern of my days no more. Babana's growing all you know, ain't it? And what will everyone be uh, do without you supply them with the lovely, tasty, fresh fruit? That's not a problem. I will simply entrust my farm to the care of another, one younger, who feels the passion I have lost. Seems kind of weird that he would just stop loving Babanos all of a sudden. Hum, Strippy, do you think he might be? Yep, I reckon he's brokenhearted. I wonder if he'll give me Babana as a reward, because I don't see... Normally there's another, uh... Another quest here. What is this feeling? I feel better. By the ancients must have returned to my farm immediately. My beloved Babanos will wither and die without my care and attention. You know, we healed him and now he loves Babanos more than ever. Seems I do. What's this you're doing, boy? You deserve. Thanks. Here, forgive me for this trifle. Two slices of golden pie. And complete another card. Uh, you still don't know what a Babanos. Just go to the shop real quick. I don't think there's just a Babana item. I could be wrong. Maybe I didn't come here and buy the uh, ingredients from here. Which is more than possible. Buy ingredients. I, I had Babanas on me. Does that mean all I had to do was talk to him again? Add some more of this stuff. Sometimes it does take more than one item sometimes. I know milk I can actually go through pretty quickly. You have ice cream? You do have ice cream. Something needed ice cream as a base. And I know you can like increase the quality of stuff. There we go. That makes it feel better. So we have the Babana, and we have the Cold Press, so that should be all the quests in Yule. To me, Perdita. So let's go there first, turn these in, and then we'll head to the next place. I feel like I had to go back, I don't have to go back and forth. And I'm willing to bet the Llama's probably going to be a continuing quest. Just get a feeling. Um, Nature's Tongue. I have a feeling he's not going to like Babanas. I don't think he said he tried one. He only saw it and it looked good. I'm going to enjoy this. Nom nom nom. This is nom. Delicious. Sweet, soft, fruity. It makes me change my from hay, I can tell you. Look at him gobble it down. The bottom of heaven he is. Ah, yeah. He sure does seem to be enjoying it. Oh, oh this is delicious. But having experienced such a gastronomic marvel, it's clear to me that just what I've been missing, I must taste further delights. Still hungry, is it? Greedy, great, hairy lump. Let me see. What do we care to eat next? Glow shrimp. I have glow shrimp on me. Well, I guess we could give you some glow shrimp. Excellent, I'll wait here. Um, nature's tongue. What? I mean, nothing. I say, it's a glow shrimp. How delightful. I can't wait to taste it. I don't think you, you're not a carnivore. It's tender and succulent. It leaves a delightful tang on the tongue. This is, uh, yep. All right. Oh, no, that was great. Real treat. Now, come on, next course. Next course. This ain't some flipping fancy restaurant, you cheeky so and so. Sure, you know, some usual food won't give you a stomach ache. I think you're concerned, but I shall be fine. Now on to the next course. I would simply like a black truffle from Hamlin. Well, I have black truffles. Go, oh, flipping heck. I never thought I'd see an alpaca gorging himself on a black truffle. If you don't mistake, black truffle is indeed the king of foods. Richly fragrant and boasts a flavor of incomparable depth. Tastes for the true connoisseur. She prefers you to sound his food. Some real fancy words, too. The texture was nothing special. Just that being the case, the new next delicacy I would like to try is legendary crunchy snow radish of Yule. 
Ah, got the bit between his teeth now, hasn't he? How long is he greedy for a bag going to keep eating? Uh, he still seems pretty hungry. Can't read the next course. Which should have some radish on me. Ah, uh, that crispy, crunchy texture is just so, so moorish. And the snow radishes are good for you, too. It's life full icing that sends a tickle down the spine. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I do declare that I have eaten enough. At least fit to burst. Thank you for indulging my whims and taking this humble alpaca on a whirlwind culinary tour around the world. Where you delivered these delicate morsels, I had tasted only hay and a, and a shoe out of curiosity. Rest assured, I shan't forget the flavors you have so kindly introduced me to. Now, I promise I will reward you, and so I shall. Here you go. Each shipment, 2,500 guilders. Plus six stamps. Oh, oh, and there's more. I have a fine formula for you to use in your alchemy experiments. Use it to make something tasty, and feel free to drop by and share it with me anytime. Plinky cheek, what, uh, what is it? Doing? Some new formulas. Alright, so I obviously don't have your stuff yet, but we do have the cold compresses we can give to this guy. Ah, uh, you returned. Well, well, you truly traveled to Yule and back. Without your help, I would have been suffer until a peddler next arrived. Tom Day and Yule send his regards, sir. Does he now? That's good here. Ah, uh, must forget you have a word. Please take it. Tonic and 2,500 guilders, plus seven stamps. Alright, so let's go travel to Ding Dong Dell. As I'm sure there'll be... I wonder if there will be quests here. I'm not getting a whole lot of, uh, pieces and stuff. Oh, yeah, there are quests. What can we do for you? Oh my god, y'all are back here. Sorry, I don't know what's happened, but I don't think I, we can be together anymore. Darling, you can't be serious. Dreams were about to come true. Why would you throw it all away? Has something happened? Oh, it's you. For some reason, my husband started acting as if he wants to get rid of me. I'm sorry, I really am. I don't hate you. It's, not, it's just, we can't just get together anymore. It's it's not you, it's me. Jeepers, but they make such a swell couple. Why would he... Use your eyes, Ollie boy. It's obvious, ain't it? Well, of course, he's brokenhearted, huh? Too right, he is. He had the love stole from his heart, ain't it? Proper tragic it is. You will help, won't you? Of course we'll help. Let's go find some love. But I don't have any. Probably on the next screen over. Uh, Horace is on the next screen over because he said he'd be back where we first saw him. That was, indeed, here in Ding Dong Dell, up on the second area. By that stone. I don't remember if we could read what the stone said at the time. Mm. Much better. Man, am I looking forward to playing uh, Super Mario 64 tomorrow? Let's see. Oh, hello. What do you do for you? Oh, what was making up possibly such a critical choice? Oh, my, my. Crikey, you sound like you're in a right old pickle. What's the matter, Mon? Zons, you heard my pitiful cries of agony. Uh, yes, we did. What's wrong, mister? You said you had a difficult choice to make? Forsooth, it seems that in this kingdom of brews and biggest ship necks, a man may marry but a single solitary maiden. You know, love all these damsels of the land, nay, all the ladies of this fair world. <laughs> Choose only one flower from such a beautiful, bountiful garden. Why, it's impossible, impossible, I say. Hey, look, the lock is glowing. Do you think maybe this gentleman has too much love in his heart? Ah, uh, not enough restraint, more like. But look, it's glowing. That must mean there's something trouble the friend. Oh, no, I just wonder if you could help, us, help someone. If you could let us have a little of your love in your heart, we could give it to someone who doesn't have enough. This person wants for love. Is she a fair maiden? Uh, I guess she could be. Sure. Let it be so. <laughs> I'll sacrifice some more of my most precious love for that sake of a damsel in distress. Thank you. And now we have some love for the uh, vendor at the entrance of town. Farewell, I eagerly wait the day when my for fabled love proves the salvation for all the beautifuls of this fair and virtuous world. I'm sorry, it's not going to damsel. Any other... no, no other quest. Horace doesn't show up in the map, so we just have to know that he's going to be over here. Or assume he's going to be over here. Could be someplace else. Are you here? You're not. But this is where we first saw you, wasn't it? Now I'm confused. This was definitely the first place we saw him. Hmm. Did we technically see him someplace else first? Or is he just not... Can we not, can we not do whatever he, his next step is? Maybe that's all it is. We just can't do the next step. 
Hmm. I wonder. Let's head on down to the merchants. Give them the love. Excuse me. Oh, where do, do we have the items from here? Cause I'm pretty sure these can be these are bases as well. Um, we have one, three, none of these. We do have that. Okay, sweet. All right, on to those merchants. Let's uh, heal them right up. So I assume, seeing as they're back here, they must be about to open shop, right? Come on, other boy, guess heart. I'll give heart. Give you some love. Oh, hmm. Where am I? Are you okay? Oh, it's you. Must have had another funny turn. My head is all in a muddle and my memories are completely mixed up. But you don't want to dump your wife anymore, ain't it? Dump her? Leave her, you mean? My dearest darling wife? Never. I love her more than my life itself. Oh, come on, Mon, for shame. It's only just had my lunch. Suppose that means he's better, though, eh? Thank you, thank you so much. Here, this is for you. A bottle of Nostrum. And complete the quest. Get another stamp. Oh. I'm sure they're going to be someplace else. All right, let me s let's head over to Hamlin next. We've been everywhere else. Oh, we haven't been to the Heat. Actually, no, I say we're everywhere else. There's please, still a couple places we have to go. All right, and give me just a second. I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 